Hi guys, it's late. Yes, I'm a little bit late and it had a reason, or it has a reason. I had a visitor in the studio this morning, someone that lives in the same town I do, Enskri. It was Andy and we uh, talked about pouring paint. It's kind of fun because um, normally I don't get visitors. So uh, here I am ready to pour. So I want to thank everyone for uh, sponsoring my channel in May 2019. This is the updated list as of this morning, 8 o'clock, something like that. So thank you all. Here it is. And you can pause the video if you want to check if you're on there. If you have donated and I don't have you on the list, slip me an email. I'll fix it. Okay. Um, last week when I did the uh, bottle cap pours, I was talking about you know the bottle caps which is just you know a normal cap for on a bottle there it is and i wanted something that was taller well look at this i found something taller it's uh the diameter is a little bit thinner but it is taller so i can put a lot more paint in there so i'm gonna try that out right now and see what happens and why I want it to be a little bit taller is because I want to drag it over the uh, canvas you know the the small ones these are enough to put on and just do one little swoosh like that and then all the paint is uh, out of it so you only get about like a drag of about let's say one and a half inch something like that but I'm hoping that when I put it in this, I can drag it along just a little bit longer and it'll make a really nice pattern. So that's what I'm going for. Now, of course, I want to fill up the background. So looking for a good, let's see, uh, maybe I can do it with this. I think I can. Yes, I can. So this is um, the background color. And again, the background color doesn't have any, I think it's a little on the thick side though, but the background color doesn't have any uh, silicone in it because um, if you were to put silicone in it, you'd get those dimples. So that's why I don't want any in the background color. And why I'm telling you this again is because I get a lot of questions about it, a lot. Now, um, what I've been doing is I've been uh, varnishing the uh, the other bottle cap pours because some of are sold. People are waiting for their painting. And I want to get them all out before I go on vacation. So uh, I'm going to show you them in a, a later video because also about that I've got a lot of questions. Because there are lots of people that, you know, are asking me, you know, does that stay on the on the canvas? The way you put it uh, on there and uh, what I show in the video. Um, a lot of people think that, you know, afterwards uh, something happens to the cells or something that they all disappear or I don't know. But that's not the case. Um, when you have disappearing cells, you got to be checking your consistencies uh, you got to check on your if you're even you know making the right pouring medium and um, for everyone because that's the second most asked question is what do you mix in your paints so if you're watching this video go down to the comments and the first comment on this video I will put in my um, my mix that I put in all my paints now I've um, developed that over a time period of about, let's say, I think almost two years. And uh, once I got this one, I'm very happy with it, so I'm going to stick with it. And uh, if you make the same, I'm pretty sure you're going to say, okay, this is it. This is the mixture. And of course, you can always du duplicate, or not duplicate, but you know, if you can't find a Vallejo gloss medium, you can put in um, Windsor & Newton gloss medium. That's no problem whatsoever. You can do that. But 
I think the Vallejo pouring medium is the stuff you really need because I think because there's 40 percent of that in my mix so I think that's the important bit. Now again I am going to um, I want the the paint that I put on top I want that to really sort of move into the background because that is for me that's the most exciting exciting part so I'm going to put a little bit more paint on the background I've done the uh, the sides so we're good to go there and I just want a little bit more here in the middle so that is it's a sort of a a sort of a catalyzed thing, you know, that it moves the paint better. There we go. I only see a couple of tiny bubbles. So I'm going to use my little torch to pop. Ooh, I see a little bit of schmutz. Got to get that out. So we're going to take that out because that's just something that was hanging on my torch, I guess. Okay, now we're all ready. And I'm going to fill one of these. And of course, I'm going to start off with the background color. And then I'm going to start with all the colors. And this is really pretty much random how I put them in. There's no uh, plan. There's nothing that I think, you know... Um, why I'm putting the colors in the way I'm putting them in. It's just the way I think I just want to put them in. So you can put them in any which way you like, no problem whatsoever. There is a reason that I'm putting, uh, that's pretty thick. There is a reason why I'm putting in the background color in between these colors. And that is because um, when it spreads out, this will sort of merge into the background a little bit. And I think that just makes it look just that little bit better. Of course, I want a lot of turquoise. And we want a lot of this color. And a little bit more of the light blue. Then this one again. And this one does have silicone, so only the background doesn't have silicone. And I want a nice bronze color, which is going to sink right through. Usually does. Uh, the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to do a lot of bronze, just to see uh, what kind of effect that it's going to give. This is a lot of paint, so I think I'll have a lot of um, room to maneuver it right over the uh, the canvas here. I think that's going to work out really fine. And what I would suggest is if you have a metallic color, that you uh, don't put that in um, first because it sort of always sinks to the to the bottom. So. If you put it in, in the last layers, it has a chance to go straight through. And it might just mix up a little bit of color. Who knows? Now, this is the last one. Now, can you see all the nice little layers it has? Okay. I think we're ready to do something. Let's see if we can make it just stick on top. Yep. Oops. Got to be careful or it's going to be sort of pouring out already and we don't want that. Oops. Oh, I think I can move that back a little bit. Okay. Now let's see what we get when we torch it. I do think that the, um, as you can see, the uh, metallic sort of took over. That's a lot of metallic. Let's see if we can get it. 
moving. That's a lot of metallic. And the thing is that right down here, I see that some of the colors, it has turned into sort of a grayish thing, what we call mud. That I really don't really like that much. I think my paints are just a little on the thick side. So I'm going to make it go back a little bit. And I'm going to see if it's going to start to move into the background, which you see pretty fast. But it is up here, I see it a little bit moving, but the blue's not moving. So I think blue is a color that just doesn't move that much. I'm going to take the rest, what I have in my little cup, and going to pour right over it, just to give it a little bit more. going to make it move up a little as you can see. See here is where I don't have enough paint for it to move into the background and that is uh, sort of uh, something that I wasn't reckoning on. So I'm going to get my uh, little paint bottle and I'm going to move some paint under. As I can see, uh, as I thought, it, it's just a little too thick. So we're going to push it under and see what happens. Now that's pretty. Now it's moving. And what I do like is that it sort of has the idea that it's central, the most of the paint, and then we get this sort of an illusion of that it's sort of by itself sort of moving into the background. That's kind of nice. It's better than just leaving it as it was. And what you see here, they're not chunks of paint. They're just, um, wow, that, that really looks nice. I love that. Um, these are little air bubbles which you can just pop. But I can also see that it needs just a little bit more paint here, down here on the corner. Otherwise you get this um, pretty, pretty thick rim of paint and that's something that we don't want to have. We do want it to come over the side a little bit. See how I'm smoothing it out? Sometimes you need to do that. There it goes, and up here we'll do the same. Up here we need a little bit more, only I don't like that bit. And up here we'll do the same. And the next one I will make it just a little bit thinner and you'll see the difference. So what it's really all about is that you really need to um, make sure the paints are the perfect consistency. I'm down here a bit. There we go. Eh, I might save the, the next one for tomorrow because I'm I'm pretty much running late, but that's okay. I will do a video with the uh, with the other paintings, the dried ones. There you go. Just smoothing out the sides a little bit. Got to do that here too. making sure not to get in this bed because you want, you know, that going over the side is pretty nice. You don't want to disrupt the pattern. Well, I kind of like, look at that. It's, it's really kind of um, interesting. And especially with all that, that metallic that's in it, that makes it look uh, really wild. That 
that's it. Oops. That's nice. I like it, but there's something that makes me want to do something just a little bit more to it because as you see here, what's coming down here, that little bit here, up here, and it's, it sort of calls for me doing a little squishy and a little swipe. But do I dare to do that? I'm not sure because uh, I sort of really like it as it is right now. It's um, so much different than a bottle cap pour and it's, you know, wild and it's spreading all out and it has this beautiful flow to it. So I, maybe it's a good thing that I just leave it as is. Although I see here a little bit of, needs a little bit of paint down here. Good that I caught that before stopping. Okay. Now I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it like this. I really do like it. Maybe give it a little. Nah, don't touch it. Nah, oh, got to touch it here. But that's it. No more. Just want to make that flow a little bit more. Okay, guys, this is it. Um. I'll get you in closer. Can you see the metallic popping through? Everything this color is metallic. There you go. I think once it's dry, it's going to be a really beautiful piece. And uh, yeah, we're going to keep it just like this. Let me get you in a little closer. There it is. It has a certain flow to it that makes it, for me, makes it really uh, pleasing to the eye. Um, we'll see when it's dry. I'll show it to you again. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. And after this, I'm going to show you the dried pieces of a couple of weeks ago. So see you in a bit. Love you all to pieces.